Uh, Sheikh, we note that the dua of a person whose income is ha haram is not accepted. So if the person who earns haram income commits shirk and repents, will his repentance not be accepted? No, don't mix oranges with apples, Akhi. These are two different things. It's very wrong to cascade rules in Islam and put them together as if it is uh, mathematics because your understanding of these rules is wrong. Simple and, 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 and straightforward. So it's like, oh, Sheikh, Allah Azza wa Jal has prohibited men from wearing gold. And we know that gold is haram for men because it breaks the hearts of the poor. So can we say that it is haram to wear a diamond ring for men? What does this have to do with that? Allah prohibited gold. That's it. You cannot cascade this from your own whims and de desires. Where did Allah say that wearing gold breaks the hearts of the poor? Nowhere. But this is your understanding, which is totally wrong. So not accepting the dua of someone whose income is haram has nothing to do with him accepting Islam after committing an act of shirk or repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal. It has nothing to do with his salat, his fasting. It has nothing to do with uh, 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 other things unless they're related to it. So don't mix apples with oranges, Allah knows best.